Access denied. Access denied. Access denied. Access granted. I'ma change your life, I'ma change it. I'ma change your life, life. I'ma change your life, I'ma change it. I'ma change your life, life. I'ma change your life, I'ma change it. I'ma change your life, life. I'ma change your life, I'ma change it. I'ma change your life, life. You used to deal. And good morning, everybody. This is Mike with Morning with Mike. How is everybody doing today? Today's show is uh, going to be a little bit in the, uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Awkward. Awkward. That's for show. So anyway, before we get into it, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel below. Go ahead and hit that bell icon because we are have new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 9.45 a.m. If you're listening to me on Spotify, Stitcher, Breaker, Google Podcast, iTunes, uh, Apple Music, etc., be sure to follow that podcast. Give me a ranking. Give me a ranking. Michael Buckcaster, give me a ranking. Preferably five stars. If not, that's cool. Let me know why. And I'll fix the show to improve it just to suit you. Anyways, let's get into it. Let's get into this today. I was scrolling through Twitter uh, today or yesterday. I don't I don't remember when I was scrolling through Twitter. I swear I scroll through Twitter every now and then just to uh, you know just just to pass the time. Anyways, I saw a picture of Brittany Griner. For those of you who do not know who Brittany Griner is, she is a WNBA. Uh, I want to say superstar because you know she is the talk of the league, etc. She went to Baylor, was a standout player, won many, many games. Like, I remember watching her in Big 12 play, and she just killed everybody. Well, she was the, uh, I guess, maybe the first woman to come out publicly saying that she's a lesbian in the WNBA. Cool. I'm proud of you. Proud of you for sticking to your ways. Staying who you are, whatever. I'm proud of you. She recently got married. Hot girlfriend. Smoking hot. Whatever. Lesbians always seem to get the hottest girls. But I saw this picture of Brittany Griner. She was didn't have a shirt on. She had no boobs. Zero boobs. They've been chopped off. Whatever. It looked like a man's chest. She looked like a legitimately a man. And then I started digging into this situation. If you guys missed the previous uh, upload last week. We had a discussion about non-binary. People that don't get, don't relate to men or women. They switch and do whatever they want. Brittany Griner is now identifying herself as a man. By walking around topless. Not having breasts. Being the man in the lesbian relationship. She is identifying herself as a man. So that question made me scratch my head. Scratch the good old nogger up, 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 up there. And when Mike starts thinking about random shit like this, shit gets downhill fast. Nonetheless, it made me think. If she is identifying herself as a man, dressing like a man, doing man things, how can she play in a woman's professional sport? Think about that. She is identifying herself as a man, taking testosterone to become a man, doing man things, walk around shirtless, whatever, or, you know, that, that kind of thing. But she's playing in a woman's sport. How is that fair? How is that fair to all the feminine women in the, in the WNBA that are, that are not taking uh, testosterone, that are doing women things, you know? Uh, I, I even read a report that Brittany Griner actually had her ovaries and all that baby making stuff taken out so she had a full hysterectomy to complete this man's transformation so she doesn't so she doesn't even have a menstrual cycle anymore and you know many people that watch this channel or listen to us are men so we have no idea what a menstrual cycle is but but we know what it is but we don't know what the severity of it the pain is like etc speaking from a man's point of view, like I've seen women like 
lay on the couch because they hurt so bad because they're cramping so bad. Regardless, she doesn't have that in it like 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 anymore. So that once a month when that female basketball player is has to sit out because she's cramping so bad, Brittany Griner can play through it because she hasn't had that problem. So the question that I want to ask all the viewers today, all the people that are watching this, listening to this, etc. If Brittany Griner is going to become a man, identify as a man, shouldn't she be shouldn't she uh, be treated like a man and not be able to play in the WNBA? Shouldn't she have to uh, you know play in the NBA if she could even make it in the NBA? Uh, a, a a little while ago, I think it was the last time when the Olympics were going on, she said she could beat Boogie Cousins Cousins one on one. It's time to prove that. I mean, if she if she wants to be a man. She wants to be identified as a man. She wants to be treated like a man, do man things, join the NBA, and uh, cut all this WNBA shit out. We out.